Welcome to Math Tutorials. In today's video we're going to take a look at finding critical values in the standard normal distribution. And in particular we're going to look at finding what's called Z.05. Okay, now the first thing is let's go through what that means. Um, when you have this notation Z and then lower down, like called a subscript, 0.05, what this is telling us is that we want to find a Z score that has 0.05 area to the right. Okay, so if you, what you want to do first on any one of these kinds of problems, Z, whatever it might be, is draw yourself a standard normal distribution because uh, it's a z-score, so that comes from standard normal, which means it has zero as the mean, and then it has uh, deviation one, which we are not really going to draw it on the graph here, we'll just write it down over here, uh, sigma equals one. Okay, well on this particular picture, um, it's a probability distribution, so the area under the curve, uh, all of this area in here, is equal to one and we want to mark so that it has 0.05 or 5% to its right. So for example, if you put the mark right here in the middle, then it would have 50% to the right, half of the whole thing. If you put the mark over here on the left, then it would have more than 50% on the right, so then that's clearly uh, not where it's going to be. Okay, so it, we're going to mark somewhere over here on the right, so that the area, this little bit here that I'm shading, that is 0.05 or 5%. And then that's this would be our Z 0.05. Okay? So that's what you want to do first is draw yourself a picture and shade that little region. Now the thing is, that's 0.05 to the right, and that means that what's left is 0.95 over here. Okay, now that's actually what we're going to need. We care about the 0.95, not the 0.05, because whether you use the table or you use the calculator, you're going to use the 0.95 to figure it out. Okay, so let's do this first with the, um, we'll do this with the table first, okay? So in, uh, in our particular book, we're using Triola's Elementary Statistics uh, 12th edition. Go to table A2, and we can find the positive z-scores here. Okay, and then what we want to look for is, um, the way this chart works is the Z is your columns and your uh, row headers. And then within the table, in the middle down here, these are the areas. But it's very important to note right here, it's the area to the left. So you look up the area to the left. Alright, okay, so in our particular problem, remember we had 0.05 to the right, so it's 0.95 to the left. So we would look within the inside of the chart, because this is the area to the left, and we'd look for the closest thing to 0.95. And here we are, there's 0.9505 and 0.9495, and then there's this little asterisk right in the middle, because it's saying, hey, wait a minute, if you want to look up 0.95, go down here, and then there it is. If the area is 0.95 to the left, the corresponding z-score is 1.645. And that's what we really wanted. So that's our particular score. So this z-score here is 1.645. And that's our answer. Okay. Uh, alternatively, if you have a TI-83 or 84 graphing calculator, which we do use in this class, you would go to uh, second vars which takes you to the distribution menu and you would pick uh, inverse norm and then what you do here is you input the area left and then you input the mean and then the deviation so in our case you would do inverse norm area to the left was 0.95 the mean was 0 the deviation was 1, and then you hit enter, and you'll get uh, 1.644 and some change. If you round it, it's 1.645. Same answer we got with the table. Okay, so that's finding 
uh, critical values, finding the z sub whatever. Um, you just take that number. Remember, it's to the right. It's the opposite of a percentile. In a percentile, it tells you the area to the left. But these critical values, it tells you the area to the right.